Hey, this is Andrew Brown. In this video, we're going to take a look at EC2 Serial Console, which is one of the ways that we can connect to our EC2 instance. So let's go ahead and launch ourselves a new instance. Um, so this one is going to be launch instance. And I'm not actually sure if we have to do anything um, interesting to connect to it because I rarely ever use EC2 Serial Console because uh, it's for debugging hardware issues and I'm not the best at doing that. But uh, we'll go ahead and just type an EC2 Serial Console example. Because my thought is that um, you don't need to have any kind of connection because it's going to directly connect to the hardware. So it's my assumption we don't have to give it any fancy role. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to proceed without a key pair. I'm going to use the default security, security group. We are launching your standard Amazon Linux 2023 instance. And we're not going to be even providing it an instance profile. So we'll go ahead and just launch the instance. And then we'll see if we're able to uh, connect to it here in just a moment. Okay. All right, let's take a look here if we can connect to the EC2 serial console. So we'll go over here. It says to connect to this instance using EC2 console, the account must be authorized in the EC2 account setting. Okay, I didn't even know that was a thing that we had to do. So we'll go ahead and allow it. And so now it's enabled here under the EC2 settings. So that is great. We're gonna go back over to our instances. We're gonna go here and go back to connect. And that says to connect to the serial port of an instance using EC2 serial console, the instance must use an instance type that is built with AWS Nitro system. You can change the instance type to a supported virtualized instance type or a bare metal one. So I guess Nitro system is gonna be very important. So which instances have that? That's a good question. Um, T2 is pretty old. So maybe something like T3 or T4 will be utilizing it. That's the uh, great question. Um, so let's go over here and take a look. So I really want to know which ones have Nitro. So I guess I'll have to go look that up be back in just a moment. So I'm not exactly sure, but I have a feeling that it's going to be T3, T3s that have it. Um, it could be T4s, but I'm almost certain that it's going to be T, T3. So I'm going to go ahead and terminate this one. We're going to go ahead and launch a new one. We'll say EC2 um, Serial Console example and then we'll go down here below i'm going to switch out to t3 micro t3 there we go and we don't need a, a key pair we'll use the default uh, security group here and we'll go ahead and launch this instance and so i'll see you back here in just a moment okay all right let's go take a look here and see if we are able to connect to this instance. So we'll go ahead and we can see what port we are connecting on and we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll just give it a moment to, I guess, connect, okay? And, you know, I keep expecting to see something here, but I'm not, oh, there we go, we hit enter. Now we can uh, go ahead and log in. So I think the one thing that we'll have to do is log in as root. But I didn't set a password, so I don't even know what this would be. Um, so I guess the question is, what would we do here? Logging as a root, I, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, okay. So I guess we're going to have to figure out what the root password is, or we have to set one. Is there a way to do that? Let me go ahead and take a look here. Mm. So that's a really good question. Let me go figure that out. All right, so apparently what we're going to need to actually do is connect to this instance first with Sessions Manager and then set a password for root. And then once we do, then we will actually be able to connect here. So this is not going to be very useful for us right now. Um, we already have a, a role that we keep using. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that uh, IAM profile. So I'm just going to go ahead and look for that. So we'll say modify IAM role. I'll drop this down, choose the EC2 SSM role. We'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and do a soft reboot here, and I'm going to hope that soft reboot um, allows us to establish um, a connection to Sessions Manager. So I'll just give that a couple of uh, minutes because sometimes it takes some time, and then I'll connect with Sessions Manager, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can connect here with Sessions Manager. Um, and sometimes Sessions Manager is a bit funny. There we go. And so we'll go ahead and, and connect. And in here, I think we're going to have to switch over to our uh, other user here. 
Uh, actually, we don't, probably don't have to do that. We'll probably just type in sudo in here. So we'll do sudo password. And I'm not spelling it wrong. That's how you have to spell it. And you type in root. And so now we can enter a root password. I'm just going to put testing all lowercase. And it doesn't like it. So I'm going to do testing one, two, three. Okay, so testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. So the password is testing one, two, three. I'm going to go ahead and terminate this. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead and establish a, um, a serial console connection. Okay. And uh, yeah, so you know, this is just kind of fiddling around there. So we'll try this testing, or sorry, root. Testing one, two, three. And so now we are in, and uh, supposedly we can get access to things that we normally wouldn't get access to. And you know, this only makes sense if you are good with har hardware or network engineer. I'm not, so let me just read a little bit and see if we can see something. So here they're suggesting there is a, um, a configuration for um, the network interface that we might be able to look at. Now this says EF0, but I just want you to know if you type in ifconfig, I think it's ifconfig, it's not called uh, ENF0, it's ENS5 for Amazon Linux 2023. It's just um, how they do it for whatever reason. So we'll go ahead and see if we can find this. So I'm gonna type in cat, cause I think it's just a file here. And we'll go ahead and type in etc. And we'll type in sysconfig. And then the next thing here appears to be network scripts. So we'll type in network scripts. And then we have ifconfig, so if. And it looks like it is showing us that one there. So I'm actually surprised that it showed that. I thought it'd be the other one. No, I guess that's what it is. So maybe it maps to it or something. I'm not 100% sure, but we are seeing stuff here. Do I know what I'm looking at? Absolutely not. Not a networking person. It's all foreign to me. But I guess my thought is like that we're, that we're in here. Is this stuff that we wouldn't necessarily see if we were logged in the other way? So like if I was to go ahead and just connect the normal way with... Um, Sessions manager, um, would I get access to the same file? I don't know. So let's go take a look and see if there's any difference. If you are a networking person and you're looking at me going, Andrew, oh boy, you don't know what you're doing. It is super true. <laughs> so this one was over here. I'm gonna go ahead and just see if the same file is accessible. I just wanna see if, what the difference is. And that same file is over there. So that is very unexciting. Um, I mean, here they're suggesting that there are two things that we can utilize. Depending on the situation, if I go down here, uh, maybe it's not here, but we'll say EC2 serial console uh, docs. If I go over to here, say troubleshooting. They talk about troubleshooting with Grub or Sys requirements. Sys requirements looks like what their or system request is what it looks like they were using in the other one there. So I'm going to go over here, just take a look. Um, to use Sys re system request in the serial console, Sender break control zero to issue a system request command. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm gonna type in control zero. Nope, that's not it. Command zero. So I just did control C there and I actually got a bunch of options, which is very interesting. But here it says to send a break press, press control plus zero. Okay. And then we get this. Um, I want to get out of this. I'm going to just hit Control C again. Just type in clear. So if I do Control C, I'm not getting it. Okay, so that Control Zero must have worked. I'm going to do Control Zero. And now Control C. And notice when I hit Control C, it's, it's basically saying, hey, I, we don't know what that input is. So I think it actually is working when we do Control Zero. And so H for help, I guess. And that's what it's bringing out. So we'll do Control Zero and then hit H. And so it's printing out uh, help, reboot, crash, terminate, full memory, etc. cetera, show registers, sync. Again, all stuff that is interesting, but I have no idea what it is. Well, I guess let's show all registers as an example. So we'll go here and try this again and do this. And the letter was what, P? There you go. 
So yeah, if you're a networking person, you probably understand this. I don't. This is all I wanted to show you so that you knew how to connect to it. Uh, let's go ahead and just tear down this instance and we'll call this done, okay? And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Ciao.